I did an interview with Napoleon, right? Napoleon from the Outlaws. And he told me that Tupac, he was acting weird before he died because he was giving away all his jewelry to him. But shoot, right? You was actually one of the last people with him, right? Before he went to Vegas. Was he acting weird before he went to Vegas? Um. Well, the way that he wanted me to come with him was, was kind of crazy because he was like really trying to get me to go with him like you know like really he he sat there for a good we sat there for a good 10 minutes and he was trying to talk me into getting in the car with him and leaving with him right there but i was um you know i had had a i had had a rough week and shit and i was i needed to go take a motherfucking shower and shit <laughs> i was like man i ain't going nowhere like this <laughs> Shit, I ain't, I ain't took a shower in like two, three days. I've been recording and I just did a show. So I'm like, you know, we've been out here working, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me go home and take a shower and I'll meet you out there. You know what I'm saying? But the way he was really trying to get me to to go to the, to go with him right there and then was was kind of kind of strange to me now that I think about it. You know, I don't think he, you know, he knew that that that, that was going to happen, but you know, he was just fired up about the Tyson fight and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And if, if some shit did go down, he knew, he know, he know, he he know I I was gonna act up. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 do the right thing. You know? Um, it was just it was just crazy how how bad he wanted me to come with him that day. You know? But he did that a lot too. You know what I'm saying? Even when we recorded songs, he. He'd pop up at the videos like motherfucker, why you didn't call me? <laughs> that was my guy, you know what I'm saying? But so, but it was it was still weird because he really wanted me to go with him that day, right there, right there and then after we did that studio session. Crazy man. And how was the studio session like? And what song was y'all recording? It was um uh uh fame. It was called fame. The the song, but the, you know it, it was me, him, and cocaine on there, and um. You know, something we all adore, something worth dying for, trapped in his game, stuck in his game, searching for fortune and fame, something we all adore. That was the, the hook. And he kept on singing the hook to me the whole time until we even got to the studio. And then we got, got to the studio and recorded it. Um, but, you know, shit, we had smoked like 10 motherfucking blunts and shit. And, um... <laughs> you know, recording, I was half, half, I was high as hell when we was recording and shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, the song is on his, uh, one of his, one of his albums, but it's, it's the Outlaws and, and Eminem, I think, is on there. I'm not sure. If you pull up the original version of Fame on YouTube, it, it might even pop up. And you know what they say, right? Before someone died, they act out of character? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, and that, and that's that's, I think that's 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 probably true because for some reason, and even you know how that that look that he had uh, when they showed when he was in the BMW with pot with uh, with Shug, that look he had on his face, everybody talk about. That that uh, that always got to me too. Just that that you know, because you know I live in out here in Vegas now and. I gotta pass up that street every time I get on a plane, and I get on planes often. You know what I'm saying? So I always pass that area up and trip, trip out. <laughs>